It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei. Make sure y'all subscribe if you know. 258k on the motherfucking way. <laughs> Make sure y'all hit that goddamn like button. Help get a nigga and young recommended. Turn on them post notices. Subscribe. You bot. So many of you niggas watch my vids without subscribing. If I knew you IRL, it would be bad news for you. But look, listen. <laughs> I've done it again. I I have done such a miraculous feat. I have figured out. I have found my first build without the game even being out. We are like two weeks from 2K21 on next gen and I have figured out what my first build is going to be. What the first build, the first demigod, ISO, I need a screen, <laughs> little comp stage, meta, build man and i'm sure a lot of people gonna follow suit now i'm gonna go over a lot of things and this is gonna be great information for you guys to to take into for next gen because i don't know what build videos y'all gonna be looking at y'all know you gonna be you gonna, gonna be getting spam i don't want y'all to waste your money man so i'm finna tell y'all the safest way to make um a point guard not point guard a point guard scoring you know ball handler build you know the demigod you know the you know the 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 wave you know the the most popular you know playmaker shot creators this year etc blah 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 so look i've been playing 2k since the first 2k man so i'm very good on this build shit man i know what's going to be the best build for for me or for others so basically man honestly Looking at all the blogs and information that they spoke about, man, I honestly think the safest and best build to make that is probably going to be the meta and shit like that, most likely, unless shooting's just stupid easy and shit like that, but this will still be the meta no matter what. Um, a play shot, basically, a play shot, and I'm a... <laughs> Play shots always safe to, to, to go with in, in any year. Play shots and play sharps kind of became one. So, um, but a play, basically a play shot from a uh, normal 21 standards, bro. Basically what I'm going to do when I make my build, when I do his wingspan and his height, I am going to go with, and I, I, I just, I for some reason, I just want it this way, right? I am going to go with whatever height and weight and wingspan gives me a 99 speed and 99 acceleration. Now, if he if he's below six, if he's six foot, but I, I ain't gonna do it. I, you know, man, I, I'm man. I might have to go six one, cause this year I'm pretty sure you have to go six one for that. And um, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm gonna do that. And I'm only gonna play three, so that's why I can do stuff like that. Cause you know, I'ma have locks, guard and ball and shit like that. And I'm a real good defender. So like that extra height that I might need to like guard people in the corner and shit won't really be needed. And they say that they're gonna be improving paint defense even more. And you already know play shots could stop niggas from going to the paint a little bit, you know, um, for some reason when someone grabs the ball and just runs and holds square, it's like, you, you just can't stop it. It's weird as fuck. But like like little standing layups or, you know, shit like that, you could stop pretty good. I'm going to get into the takeovers that I'm going to pick soon. But look, and by the way, did y'all peep how they did eight takeovers, like overall takeover signs, and then 24 individual takeovers for Kobe? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Shit crazy. And also below, let me know what build you're going to be aiming for. You know, his height, his weight, his takeovers. And like, why, why, why are you going to make him like that? Now, what I'm basically going to do before I tell you what takeovers I'm going to choose is I'm also going to get, I'm, I also, I would just want mainly Hall of Fame playmaking, right? 
and I want mainly Hall of Fame shooting, right? And just enough shooting. I don't need to go overboard. I'm like the greatest shooter ever. And for finishing, I know a lot of people probably aren't going to do a lot of finishing. I want it to probably to where I can get like one Hall of Fame finishing or maybe a little more than that for my play shot. So it might not even be a play shot name. It might, it might be some type of different name, but I'm definitely for my play shot, which will be different than everyone else's. Cause for some reason y'all niggas don't upgrade finishing. Um, I think that's fucking stupid. Cause when you play someone as good as you and you ISO, <laughs> you gonna need some finishing. But I guess y'all niggas just be beating up on bums all day and shit. So, and don't be playing comp lock. So I don't know, but I definitely would like on my play shot if possible, because to have a hall of fame finishing badge, but I don't, I don't Bro, I don't even think I'll be able to make this build, bro. Because now you have to, because now you have to use your points to upgrade your speeds and shit. So I might, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be lacking something, man. Um, I really don't know, but we gonna see, man. That that whole finna come out. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. I think a lot of people, man, they just look at the archetype system, and they didn't really like really look at it, bro. They think. Our players are going to be more superstarish, and we're really going to be able to key in. But to me, it's looking like they made it to where we have to probably be more role players. That that's what it's kind of looking like with with how they they split the takeovers like individually and shit, you know. And now you have to pay for the speed and stuff. Like it's just not given to you. But if it's just a different system altogether then like say you get like way more points so you can make up for that but i don't know bro like they might nerf a lot of niggas but for defense i i just want to i'm not going to do no one defensive badge i, I just want enough to where you know j just the equal of like you know five five yeah five defensive badges on defense since i'm only going to be playing threes and pro-am with them and for my takeovers man Sharp always the best takeover every year. I'm definitely going to choose limitless range. Definitely extend your shooting range out to the logos. Um, I don't know if spot up precision will be worth it. Like if doubling up would be like godlike. So I'm not too sure. But my second one, I know a lot of people are probably going to pick negative impact. I'm definitely not going to pick that because dead eye is definitely overrated and unneeded. Um, you can shoot a hell of a lot of contested shit without Deadeye and Deadeye only activates or like shit that Deadeye and all that shit only activates when certain distances and animations are engaged. So it's like, man, you don't, you don't need that shit. I'm telling you, I'm probably gonna go with pull up precision, man. Boost well time aim shots off dribble. I know a lot of people probably... They're going to go with the lock stuff, perimeter badge drop. They might do the playmaking, the bat team badge boost. This this could be crazy, bro. I I just don't know. This is all a eh. You know you don't know if these will be actually worth it or crazy. And I don't know why there ain't no ankle breaking um takeover, man. I'm hoping that ankle breakers is really built into the goddamn game nigga like shit but anywho man i i think honestly i think a play shot's probably the safest or like the type of play shot i'm saying to make it's probably like the safest to make like a hall of fame shooting hall of fame playmaking probably be the safest to make other than like you know slash and playmaker playmakers two-way slashing playmaker fucking any of those other pg builds bro because you don't know if they're gonna make them not be able to shoot like there's no point for slashing playmakers in the meta wave because they can't really shoot niggas could just stand in the paint you know it's a more risky build you know the offensive threat you don't know if you'll be able to finish OD crazy. You don't know how the paint defense going to be. It's, it's a risk, but that could be the most brain dead build. And then, you know, playmaking. I don't know, man. It's looking like you could basically go Hall of Fame in like every category. 
So a lot of what I'm saying like might not make sense, but I just mean like the general consensus of a play shot that's been in these past two Ks, like that those amount of badges. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what build y'all think would be the meta, man. Make sure y'all subscribe if you know. Hit the goddamn like button. Help me get recommended. Turn on post notices. Go check out my second channel, man. I dropped the rage ties like a week ago. And um, I dropped my reaction to Annoying's little diss track. It's absolutely hilarious. And um, yeah, man. Adios. Go check out my other videos, man. And be sure to come here when the game is released so y'all can get the best meta builds for all the NBA 2K21 next gen for you, my boy.